Okay, if you can find a cereal box, that's great. Or some coloured or white card, that's brilliant too. But if not, if you've got some white or coloured paper like this, you can just fold it over on itself and glue it down just to make it a bit stiffer and use that. Then find your tape, a ruler, scissors and a pencil. And then extra things like glue, wool, tissue paper or sparkly paper, pipe cleaners, anything that you can think of to make your character a bit more interesting. So you're going to be doing your rectangle next. 9 centimetres, 12 centimetres. This is going to be inside the mouth and then you need to draw an arc at the top which is from the top of the head down to the top lip. So measure five centimetres up. That helps you draw the arc and then draw one side to that point, the other side. So that's the top of the head down to the top lip and then do the same underneath but a bit smaller because this is going to be the chin. If you want to make a frog or a rabbit or a cat or any creature from your imagination, then don't do, you don't have to stick to a, a semicircle. You can draw the shape according to the character. So if you had a frog, you can do this. You can just draw the two arcs so that you can put the eyes inside. Okay, have a little practice, but use your imagination. I'll be making two characters here. This first one is cut straight from the cereal packet and then the next clip I'll show you a different example. So this is my second example. I'm just going to put some coloured paper that I happen to have hanging around onto the cardboard at this stage. Measure out the same dimensions, cut it all out. This just saves me having to colour the card. Of course you could paint it at this point as well, that would have the same effect. Hmm, while I'm cutting out these eyes, I'm just thinking about the characters that I'm going to make. I think I'm going to make one really angry and the other one nice and calm. So I'm just cutting out the eyes two at a time, sticking them on. You could just draw them on at this stage, but I quite like having white eyes from paper stuck on. Angry Arnold needs some angry teeth, I think, top and bottom. Okay, Arnold's getting really angry, his eyebrows are really fierce, he's got furrowed brow, calm, clear, he's got some lovely full lips, nice long lip at the bottom there, corresponding with the top one, same with Arnold. I think Arnold needs some red eyes, bloodshot, red cheeks, he's getting more and more angry, calm, clear, he's got some shiny eyelids, some lovely eyebrows. Just colour those in. At this point, you could stick on some ears. Right now, we're going to do some folding. So, if you fold the line with the bottom lip, is back on itself. So backwards at the bottom, and then top lip back. And the idea is that when you fold it in the middle the bottom and the top lip should meet each other and oh look she looks a bit like a duck you could make a duck add a little beak make whatever creature you like there you go next you can draw or paint the inside of the mouth, the little gangly bit that hangs down the back of your throat there, 
and the tongue. You can stick on a tongue at this point if you wanted to. That's what I've done with the frog. And then colour in that top bit black. And then round the edges you could make it red to look like the inside of your mouth. Okay, it's good to have a little strap at the top and the bottom to put your top four fingers in and then your thumb in at the bottom. So if you just cut a strip from the card, just cut it a little bit longer than the width of your creature. I'll show you now. So lay it down and then just a little bit over at that end, a little bit overlapping at that end, cut it off and then grab your tape, bend it a little bit on one end, tape it down like so and then just make sure that you've got a little tiny bit of a gap to put your fingers into and then just fold it back at the other end so I'll tape that down like so and then do exactly the same underneath for the thumb to go in Just try it out, see if your fingers fit. If not, you can always adjust it. So there you go. Just mix it a bit more comfortable. And then do exactly the same underneath for the thumb. Another strip of card. Fold it over, stick it down. Just cut in some hair for Arnold from a bit of uh, paper that I found. Just sticking Arnold's hair onto the back of his head while he waits patiently. You could attach a hat that you've cut out of card or paper or some wool or some string or some bits of curled up paper. found some wool that I'm going to use for Claire's hair. You could attach some cotton buds or some straws, pipe cleaners. Just stick them to the back of the head with tape or you could curl up some paper using scissors and then attach that to give curly hair. Just use your imagination and have a look around the house and see what you can find to attach to give him or her some character. Now at this point you could also attach some ears or you could stick a tongue on so that it sticks out. You could cut up an egg carton section to make a cap or the lid from a bottle anything to make um, it a bit more interesting Hey, ribbit, ribbit. My arms and legs are cut from green curd. Look at me. And then they're stuck on with tape just under my top lip and in the fold at the back. It gives me lots of character.
I'm so angry. Oh, oh, I love my hair. It's so lovely. Oh, oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. Thanks for watching.